All right, so the next exercise that we have is a banded push-up. So this is a way to make the regular push-up harder by adding resistance. So I'm gonna go ahead, have Corey put this band right around his upper back. It can be around his neck a little bit if he needs to, and then he's gonna wrap it around his thumbs or his hands. Now we'll go down to that push-up position. And again, in that push-up position, what we're looking for is those hands just outside the shoulders. We want him to keep a nice flat back and squeeze his glutes. Okay, from here, he's gonna go down into that push-up, Get the elbows going at a 45 degree angle and then popping right up. So you can notice here, Corey's lower back's coming down a little bit. So what I would do is just cue Corey to tighten his core a little bit and then exhale. Cool. So inhale down, lock in the core and right up. Cool. So if you notice that the hips or the lower back legs behind, what we recommend is either going to a knee push up, more ideally having them elevate their hands onto a surface, whether that's a bench, whether that's a box just so that their core can catch up with their upper body. That's how you do a banded push-up.